I'll give you some information you're already aware of. Fabio Daniel Suarez Silva, born July 19th, 2002. Who is Fabio Silva in your own words? Oh, he's, he's like, he's, he's a very kind, kind guy. I think all the people uh, you have experienced to, to be with me one day can say I'm a funny guy. I'm always try to, to joke. I'm, uh, I have a, a good heart. I think he's one of the best things on me. I think I always try to help everyone to give. I think sometimes I give more to the other people than for myself. Uh, my mom said this, sometimes <laughs> I have to give more to myself than the other ones, but this is the thing I have inside of me. So, I love to play football, it's my life since kid, I play all the time. I love to, to stay with my friends, to stay with my family, enjoy the life. If I can take you away from football just for the time being, and you as a person, obviously family is so important to you. What is a, a day in the life of Fabio Silva like when you leave Compton, you leave this building, you go home, what do you do in your day to day? For example, now I have my, my personal trainer with me here, so after I, I in home, some days I take a nap, sometimes I take a nap if I'm, I'm too tired from the training in the morning, after I go training with the, with my personal trainer, uh, after that I, that's what I like to watch some Netflix, some, some movies, some series, to watch, to play some PlayStation, to to speak about uh, with my friends in a FaceTime, to chill a little bit. Yeah, after I have, I have my dog now, so I have, uh, I have I can stay with my dog too. So I have a lot of things to do. I'm a normal guy, <laughs> like the other people. I like to have my things. So, I mean, you've been around uh, Wolverhampton and and the UK for a little bit now. But what do you make of it? You know, the the food, the weather. I mean, it's. It's raining a little bit today. What, what do you make of it? It's very different to, to Porto and Portugal. Yeah, it's different. At the beginning, I don't expect the people are so kind here. I, say, I tell you the truth. But since I arrived here, the people, when I see me in the streets, the fans, they give me so so much love. So is what I say here. I feel like I feel like home. I feel like I'm protected. You know, I, it's good to to a player. I'm young, so 21 years old. Most of the players with 20 years old are with his, fa his parents in home, with his friends in his country. So sometimes with 20 years old, you come to, to England, to the best league in the world. Everything is new, change, but now I'm more, I grow more, more quick than the other, the other teammates from my age. So I'm very good. Sometimes I have to stay some days alone, but sometimes now I think it's important. Sometimes you stay alone to know yourself too. To speak with yourself sometimes is good to to have the, your time alone, but after that I like to spend the days with my my family, my friends. Yeah, as you say, family is so important to you. But if there was something from back home in Porto, in Portugal, something you could bring to Wolverhampton that you don't have here, is there something you could think of that you that you miss? Oh, I think the I'm like uh, I don't know. I like to have cuddles, to have uh, kisses with my my family. I'm like this kind of of person, I like the contact, I like this thing, sometimes it's dif difficult, you don't have the, the hug from your mom, from your dad, from your sister, from your brother, from all my family, sometimes after training to go around walking with my friends, I don't have, of course I have my teammates, but my teammates already have uh, uh, his girlfriend or they are married uh, with his children, so it's different, I don't have uh, yet the children's. But uh, I mean, the, I try to. This is more the difficult part for me because I, I like to stay stay with my friends, to go walk a little bit, to take a coffee, to speak a little bit, to feel the weather. So this is the most difficult part for me. Mm -hmm. Talking of football, um, you've spoken of Cristiano Ronaldo as a, a massive idol, as it is for any Portuguese young footballer. Um, but talking of mentors, perhaps someone either at Wolves or in your early life, is there anyone that stands out has really taught you some life lessons in football? Oh, I try to, to learn with, uh, with Cristiano, of course, but I think in home I have my father too. Mm. My father played football, and I try to listen to him sometimes after the game. <laughs> When the game is not so good, he's the first one to not criticize me, but to say what I can improve because he never criticized me. Of course, my father, I think, is one of the wants me to be one of the best on the pitch and the best players on the on the pitch. Of course, when he he give me some advices for for me to to know on the next game what I can what I can improve. So for me, my father, yeah, I try to listen him a lot. 
and my brother too. My brother play football too. And try always speak with me after the games. So of course in the family, my f my father and my my brother are the people I listen I listen more. After I have uh, I have my personal trainer, we have a good connection too. I have uh, a friend Artur. Uh, we speak a lot. I have Carlos, my agent. So we have a lot of people like like a family together and they try to keep contact to I improve. A lot of people are looking out for you and, and trying to look after you. Um, but then you arrive in Wolverhampton, an 18 year old, COVID, you've got a really difficult scenario that you're thrown into. If I could take you back to that for, for a brief moment, what, what was that like as a teenager arriving? No, I think sometimes I say I have to grow up too quick. With 18 years old, most of the, the players they play on the on the second team of his clubs or second division, and me, I have to come here with the when I arrive here. I have hole in my position, so after whole injury, I have to go quick to the pitch to to show myself. I don't have time to to learn, to feel the the league, to take my time to to improve, to know the way we play. So everything goes quick, and sometimes the people forget some things around, but. This is normal in football, uh, and I now, at that time, when I, when I listen some comments and some some people speak, I listen and sometimes I feel sad or bad. But now I don't I don't care what the people say, what the people what the people think about about myself because I know when I play bad, I know when I play good. So I I take my own perspective from the game so I don't need uh, someone to take ah, you play good or play bad I can see from myself in home when I arrive to when I see the videos from the game oh, maybe I have to to do better here maybe I have to improve here so when the people speak now I don't listen I don't read because if you read is from the good moments you, sometimes you can know oh, how I'm good but after you have a bad game and the same guys who, who say you you do a brilliant game after they criticize you so the football are the moment, the football is the moment, so we have to enjoy, we have to do our best and don't don't stay like happy because you do one game. So we have to continue the work and uh, yeah, believe in yourself is the most important. That's a really interesting point about criticism because no one likes to be criticised. Uh, it will shock you, Fabio, that even myself will get some things on Twitter and things like that. But it's not the same as being a Premier League footballer, is it? You've got thousands, hundreds of thousands of people watching you millions of people commenting how do you get over that how do you get past to the point where you are now and grow up so quickly no i think the secret was that i think the you have to have people around you to to help you to push you because sometimes i can tell you at the first year when i not in the first year the second year mm. with uh, the second season here in wolves was i think the most difficult season in my in my career until now uh, sometimes I start to have doubts about my about myself, about my my football, about my capacities because of the people, what the people say or things inside of the the club on the dressing room. So I tell you the truth. Sometimes some some difficult days in home. Sometimes I cry alone. I cry in home. This is I don't have problems to say that because I'm a normal person. So sometimes I have my bad moments too. But sometimes I, I don't listen to people because the people don't know how you, how is inside of the club, how is inside of, in home. They don't know how I push myself to be, to be uh, my best version. Is version? Mm. My best version. For sometimes I, f I leave football not 24 hours because it's impossible. But 17, 8 hours I arrive home. I train with my personal trainer. I have my physio. So I dedicate so much to football after when the people speak. I stay a little bit sad because it's not so fair because they don't know the sacrifice we do to to be on our best level. But yeah, this season was my the worst season in my not worst. I say worst, but now I say can be the key for my career because they give me a lot of good things. I stay some moments alone, crying to think on myself what I can improve, speak with myself, and I think I grow up. I stay more stronger to to the next year. I have to go out alone. To, to feel happy again and feel confidence again and I after that now I'm like 100% good and if I have something not so good I I learn how I can take care about this. 
I, I interviewed you when you were at Andelect um, towards the end of your spell there, and you have spoken a lot about how important your loans were. But just a quick word on, on the two loan spells, Andelect and, and PSV. Just how important were they to improve you as a player and a person to, to the man we see now? I think, I always say that, I think the key is it was the way they want me on the club. Mm. I think the most important was this. I think if you, you can have a lot of clubs, they want you. But I think the secret for me, I speak about myself, is the way the coach and the, the staff want you on the team. So in Anderlecht on PSV, I feel, I feel since the first minute, they want me a lot there. I, I think I'm going to be a, a very good part of the, the project to, of, of run the team. And this is the secret. And after when you have this confidence, you have to go there and give more than 100%. This is what I try to do. And then they're like, I think I do a, a really a br brilliant job. After the people think is things about I don't want to be there, the, but not about that. It's about and they're like on the time is not in a good level on the league. We are not so good. And best we come and they are battle for t the, for fighting for the title, fighting for the cup, we win the cup. And this is why I want to change to win some titles, not about change because Underleg don't give me enough. No, Underleg, I always say Underleg give me enough, give me again the confidence to be on myself, to confidence to play, to give assists, to score goals, to feel happy again, always be grateful to them. And after PSV come, one of, I think at the moment, I think is the club I enjoy more to play at the moment because the teammates, the staff was brilliant. The season was four months incredible four months on my career. Uh, I feel happy every day. When I don't play, I feel happy too, because the coach, Ruth Vanisovoy, amazing, amazing. One of the, the best coaches I, I see with the relationship with the players. I'll try to stay with me in the, after the trainings to take some finish with him. And I say, wow, I, I train finish with, with one of the best finishing in the, in the world. So for me, it was fantastic four months. The best four months on my on my career until now and PSV and I'm so glad to be there. And in that season, the 21-22 season, you didn't start a Premier League game until end of January that year. I mean, as a young player, a young striker coming through and, and, and Wolves were doing well that season, but not scoring a lot of goals still. How frustrating was that for you? Well, it's difficult sometimes because the people, of course, the price of Wolves buy me. Of course, I, 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 I always say that I don't control the, the price of the Wolves buy me. But I, of course, I like this pressure. This is why I'm here. This is why, with my age, Wolves do this investment. This is why, with my age, I play in Premier League. I continue to do good things on the pitch. Not from the, sometimes the people forget this. I'm 20 years old, and if you can see, I'm not. I start. I continue to do good things. Yeah, but it was difficult because some of the people expect you to score 30 goals in the Premier League. Sometimes with 20 year, one years old, and don't, they don't know. You have to grow up. You have to. To fail, you have to to know the league because you play. You don't play with the, with my respect. The Portuguese league is not the same like English. The Premier League, the Premier League, you play with the best players in the world. For in the in the Portuguese league, sometimes when you have the ball, you have 30 seconds to think. Here in the Premier League, you have five seconds to think, so you have to be more quick, more more smart. So everything is different. This is why I'm here. This is why I want to be here to to improve myself. Yeah, I think the the years I spent here to play gonna give me to my future a lot of things to be a top top player yeah and this is did you feel valued in that season as well under Bruno uh, under Bruno Large I don't feel 100% value because I don't play so so much if you see my the people sometimes see yeah I do 35 games okay but if you see my minutes I don't play maybe five five if you see the total I don't play five games maybe in all season you see 35 games wow a lot of games but if you see the minutes of playing, I don't have, I think, five, five games. A lot of 87, 89 minutes, yeah. late, late substitute 85, 86, yeah. so it's difficult if you, you come in at least five minutes. And for me, it was frustrating at the beginning because I come the season from Nuno. I do a good season, I think, for first season, 18 years old, four goals, three assists. So I come here with Bruno and I think, oh, now I go continue, maybe I'm going to do a... A different season, more compact. Uh, the Portuguese coaches protect me behind, so I think on that. But after with things, sometimes I have fault, sometimes I don't have fault. But the football is like that. This is why I say this season, of course, is the worst season of my career until now. I hope, and uh, because. But I think 
was the key to change myself inside too because I learned a lot of things I, I grew up so in so many things and now I think I'm on mental I'm, I'm very good